You're watching WLOX News This Week. Here's David Elliott. And thanks so much for staying with us, everybody. Thursday, hurricane season begins. And here with the preview of the season, WLOX Chief Meteorologist, Kerry Duncan. Kerry, you ready for Thursday? You ready for June 1? Uh, well, ready or not, here it comes, right? Yeah, there's, a, there's <laughs> no stopping it. There's no sand in the way. That's right. Well, as we brace for another hurricane season, while no one can ever say anything with 100% certainty, mm -hmm. the uh, resources and the tools climatologists and meteorologists have now give us a better idea than we used to have, right? Absolutely. I mean, as we go in time, we get more and more precise. The science gets better and we're able to narrow it down. And now the Hurricane Center is looking at going from five days out to a seven day out forecast. So that's showing a lot more uh, accuracy with the forecasting and it, we're not quite there yet, but they're getting really close. And as each year, the percentage gets lower and lower. Now last year, of course, was over forecast uh, and you'll notice the actual numbers in the yellow on the right side. There were 14, eight and two and they came out in April with an above average forecast and then they upped it in uh, June and kept it the same for July and then come August, then they lowered it a little bit. But again, whatever the predictions are, I always say, people always ask me, are you ready? What's going to happen? What do you think is going to happen? And I say, I try not to think about it because it's going to happen whether it's going to happen or not. I know my plan and we and our family know our preparation. And when you have a plan that helps to Very eliminate. Very important. And then the new predictions mm -hmm. for this season came out and all the numbers are about the same. Yeah, they don't this, they don't vary much really year to year. They really don't. But last year was a good bit higher. They went up to 20 name storms and this year 13. So that's seven. That's a pretty that's a pretty big difference. So it is looking like a lower than normal season. But again, it really doesn't matter if there's one forecast and it hits where you are. It's a bad season. Well, good example last year. We say <laughs> we had a tame season. We'll mm -hmm. ask the folks in Florida what they right. thought about Ian. Exactly. I mean, it, it really does just take one. That's why, you know, we say it and you do feel like you over say it a lot that it just takes one, but it really does just take one. So when you're looking at your supplies, there's a new saying, the first 72 is on you. So those first three days, you need to have enough food and water per person for three days. That's 72 hours. Your medicine, batteries, radio, chargers, uh, you want to gas up and you want to get cash. You know, you want to get the supplies ready beforehand and go now buy an extra case of water next time buy an extra few cans of tuna. That's what I do. And so you just yeah. buy a few things that way you're not feeling such a punch in the wallet. And why one reason that that's important is you have a lot of uh, longtime residents of the coast, right. but you also have a lot of people with the casino industry, with our military bases who might be going through their first hurricane season. And they, they don't have any idea really about preparation. That's right. And a lot of people you know, Katrina was their first one and we're coming up on 18 years with Katrina this year and I talked to a mental health expert. We have a special coming up and she was talking about how it would say you kind of think you would get used to these storms and going through it. She said, but someone with anxiety, every time you get a hit, it heightens that anxi anxiety. So it gets worse and worse and worse with every storm. And just a couple of years ago, we felt like we were in the cone of uncertainty every other week. Well, I want to ask season. you about that because mm -hmm. I think people by the end of the season, some folks have kind of what I call storm fatigue. Absolutely. Because you get all geared up, mm -hmm. you get ready, you watch that cone of uncertainty jog east and west, and then nothing happens. And then there's always a danger of becoming complacent. And then there was Zeta. Yeah, boom. <laughs> exactly, so that's why we do it. We give the information and I think that that's the best thing that we can do because our jobs as meteorologists and on-air meteorologists is to give that information to help people protect life and property. And so we give that information and we try to not do it with hype or making it excitable. You know, that our main thing we is to We do a good job of calm. that. Not everybody I, does. I think we do. And I, I realize that 
there is that anxiety that when you see something and you see that 10 day forecast and it has a cat five in the middle of the Gulf of Mexico and people want to share it, but you've also got to remember a lot of these things change. 10 days out is a long time. Okay, you have, we have one more graphic, I think, yes. and that's the names. You'll have to hit this quickly. It will begin with Arlene. And end with Whitney, and hopefully we won't even get to that one. But if you look at it, it should get to maybe Katia Lee, Margo, or Nigel uh, is about where the predictions go. And these storms, the names repeat every six years. Starts with a female this year. Next year, it will start with a male, so it rotates. And we have a special coming up, so that's going to be Thursday, June the 1st, WLOX ABC 430. We will preempt Inside Edition, and then at 630 on CBS, we will have that, and that will preempt our normal newscast. So Thursday, June 1st, hurricane season starts, and it runs until November the 30th, six months out of every year. Be prepared now so you're less stressed later. So that'll be you, Wesley, Eric, Taylor, First Alert Weather Team always does a great job. I know you all have been working hard on this we special. We encourage everybody to watch it Dude. and then stay with uh, the station you can count on, WLOX, throughout the hurricane season. And download the app. Yeah, and, <laughs> and download the app. I guess I need to say that, too. <laughs> Carrie, good to see you. Good to see you. And uh, thanks for being with us on the show. And pregnant women in our community have a much needed resource. It's the Women's Resource Center. We'll tell you about the great work they do next.